All right, good afternoon. Welcome everybody to 2021. Uh, my name is Rebecca Morris. I'm the founder and president of the Arizona Builders Exchange. It is the week of January 4th, our first week of 2021. I think we're all happy to be turning the corner and starting a new year. So a couple things we've been working on. We get really excited about the new year because that means the forecast event is coming up. So our research team has been working the past few weeks getting project details ready to go and ready to present um, at our big forecast event on January 15th. So Friday, January 15th, we will kind of take down the market and show you everything we can, present all the market data and market analytics we can. We'll talk about top sectors. Um, we'll give you the size of the pie, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking at construction activity in Arizona, we can tell you how much construction activity is going to be developed by market sector. So if you want transportation and parks, if you want to know housing, specifically multifamily, if you want to look at higher ed, K-12, healthcare, industrial, any of those kinds of questions, we can tell you how much will be developed in the next three years. We'll tell you top projects, top owners, architects, and contractors. So it's a really good event. That's one of the biggest things we kind of take on each year. And it's, it's really a lot of fun um, if you're a data geek like most of us are. So that's, that's the caveat. You got to kind of be a numbers person and really, really want to dive into market research. And we kind of go for it. So that is our uh, big thing coming up. That's what we've been working on. Now, my researcher, our senior public side researcher, Kristen, is out today. So I'm going to take over kind of some of the open opportunities that she would go through if she were feeling well enough to describe them. So coming up on the design side. So an interesting thing that we picked up on this week uh, is actually some private entities that are looking for design services in kind of an on-call format. So uh, Pulte Group has two design opportunities open. It's engineering services. One is for Festival Ranch Water Reclamation Facility Expansion. One is for Sun City Festival Arsenic Treatment Facility. Both of those are in Buckeye. It is looking for planning, design services, and engineering services. Uh, those are both due middle of the month. So those are two design services that Pulte Group is looking for. Uh, the other one is GCU. So GCU has been really closed to new players, uh, design firms or contractors working with them. But in this instance, they do have infrastructure improvements. So public infrastructure improvements. They are looking for design services. So on-call architectural services and also on-call engineering services. So two separate contract opportunities there. Uh, and then also a contractor to build the designed uh, public in infrastructure improvements. So this is not the education spaces, it's not the dorms, not the parking garages, none of the vertical construction. This is all on the horizontal side. So parks, uh, I'm sorry, not parks, traffic improvements, sidewalks, biking paths, ADA compliance, uh, landscaping, all that kind of stuff. So an open opportunity, actually three open opportunities for Grand Canyon University. Uh, those are all open. They're also due the middle of January. And then last is a uh, sit for the city of Phoenix. It is a uh, bid opportunity. It's the third street promenade, promenade from Garfield to Indian School Modernization. So it improves traffic circulation, increases safety and mobility for pedestrians and bike, bike cyclists uh, with a new lane configuration. So that's an open opportunity. It does have an SBE goal of 14%. It is a hard bid opportunity. The budget that we have assigned to it is 8.8 .8 million. Uh, and those bids, that's a hard bid again, it's due the end of the month, end of January, 2021. So there's a couple of our open opportunities that we're tracking for you. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to the expert, Amanda, our other public side researcher. Can you give us some of the public uh, project updates that you found in the past couple weeks? Uh, yes, ADA awarded multiple projects right before Christmas. Um, but one of them was the fiber optic backbone infrastructure for the I-17. Um, it was about $28.6 million budget and they awarded the CMAR to Hewitt. And that was the actual CMAR. Normally they do IFBs. And then I do have a IFB was awarded for the SR-77 pavement preservation at the I-10. Um, that was awarded to Granite Construction Company uh, at 34 million. That was with ADOT as well. And then the town of Queen Creek has the Meridian Road project. It is on phase two and three. It's wrapping up design on phase two uh, and it's expected to bid 
at the end of January or the beginning of February um, for phase two construction. And then it's wrapping up on design for phase three around spring. So it's going to bid for phase three around spring of this year. So Okay. That's coming up. And then I have a ADA is a, is preparing to repackage for a rebid um, for the US 93 Wickenburg Ranch way to the SR 89. Um, they had a bid back in October, but all bids were rejected. So they're trying to repackage it again and bid again coming up soon. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for those. Appreciate it. All right, Jeffrey, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Like always, I'd be surprised if you weren't there. <laughs> All right, let me. I actually, I think I have the wrong one showing. There we go. I am looking at our database product, and I'm going to go to uh, database ID 3268. What can you tell me about the Solace at Ballpark Village? Uh, Solace at Bar Ballpark Village is a new 211 or so unit multifamily community to be located in Goodyear near the ballpark complex. This one is a fairly dense multifamily development by Buckeye standards and it will consist of seven three-story buildings with tenant amenities to include a game room and media zone, dog run, pool, and outdoor gardens. The owner of this project is Goodyear BP Owner LLC and they have selected LCM Architects as the design professional. Uh, general contractor hasn't been announced for this one, but we do have a sub-bid solicitation active right now until the 7th from Low Mountain Construction. They are currently bidding for GC on this project. Perfect. And uh, for anybody who's not familiar with our Databex product, we do have contact information in there for the design firms, for the owner, we add as many documents as we can. So in this case, we've got plans and specs, we've got our interior plans uh, and all the renderings, everything we can give you. And the intent is hopefully that you can go pursue this project with all the, all the contact information, all the bid documents, everything we can give you there. So good pick. All right, Jeffrey, I'm gonna move on. Three, two, eight, four. What can you tell me about Ascari Surgery Center? Uh, yeah, so the Ascari Surgery Center is going to be a 24,000 square foot uh, surgery center in Prescott. It will consist of a single three-story ambulatory care facility. Dr. Hojat Askari is the developer for this one and has selected Stro Architecture as the design professional. There's no general contractor announced on this one either, but that's probably related to the fact that we also have a sub bid on this one, also from Low Mountain Construction. Uh, that's active until the 14th. Perfect. So yeah, probably general contractor not yet selected is definitely the right Right way to describe that one. Okay, perfect. Great pick again. Thank you for those. And again, all the all the documents we can give you, uh, everything we can tell you about this project is shown in our database. All right, I'm going to move on. Uh, Roger, our other private side researcher, what kind of good project updates can you give us today? Yeah, so I got a couple projects in Tucson today. The first one is the Hyatt Regency Hotel. It um, used to be the Hotel Arizona renovation. That's what it used to be called. It's a 309-room uh, hotel that's going to have a 350-spot um, parking garage built with it. It's going to be 155,000 square feet at full build-out, and we have it valued at $45 million. Um, HSL Properties is the owner, and we spoke to them in November, and they told us that they were going to be acting as the construction manager on this, and they might actually be acting as the GC. Um, we just got word that Swain Associates is the architect, and they're actually bringing on Sun Construction for pre-construction services. And then they said they're still working on the actual GC. They said they shouldn't know that by April, but if all goes well, they are looking to have Sun as the GC. And they're still planning on starting construction on that project in Q3 of 2021. Next project is also in Tucson. This is a, the Batista Apartments. It's gonna be a mid-rise mixed-use project with ground floor retail adding up to 16,000 square feet and that's gonna be 253 residential units. Um, we have it valued at $72 million, and the Gadsden Company is the developer on this project. Um, they told us last week that no GC has been selected yet, but they are planning on starting construction in September of 2021, and this is gonna be an 18-month build, so 
probably see a GC selection on this sometime in the next six months or so. And then the last project I got is in Flagstaff. It's a pretty small multifamily project. It's called the Presidio in the Pines. Um, we only have it valued at six to $7 million. It's just 39 unit apartment complex on a 2.7 acre lot. Um, it's a Miramontes Homes project. So they're gonna be the developer. They're gonna be the general contractor and they're working with GLHN architects and engineers. They're the design firm. Um, just spoke to Miramonte Homes, and they said that they're projecting this to start in um, late first quarter, early second quarter, so probably March or April of this year, construction will be starting. And this is going to be a pretty quick project. They're saying it'll only take around 10 months at full build out. Perfect. A great update. Thank you so much. All right, if you'd like information on any of the projects that we mentioned today or any of the services that we offer, please do check out our website. It has all of our contact information online, uh, asbex.com or data-bex.com. And we hope to see you at our forecast event again on Friday, January 15th, 2021. Thanks everyone, see y'all next week.